and at home today. We're so glad you could drop by our kitchen because we've got some good things going on in this place today. For one thing, a dear friend of mine is coming back. Her name's Olympia Harry. You remember she and her husband, Jeff, did that great stuff at Christmas time with all the spanikopita and all the little fancy things. Ah, they're great cooks. And Olympia gets it by the genes. By that I mean her mother is a fabulous cook. Her name is Hazel, Hazel Carolus. And I've known Hazel for a long time. Hazel used to come and she would be the hostess in our green room here at the studios when we would do the programs, when I produced our flagship program many moons ago. And she was always such a blessing and she would bring the best cookies. And she just, you could tell by the way everything looked, it was so perfect and it always tasted good. And so after many weeks and even months, maybe even years of asking for her to come and be a guest on the program, she finally said, okay, I'll do it. So today she's the main cook, Olympia and I, we're gonna be her prep chefs, we're gonna be the ones that, that work with her, okay? Not that she needs it, but we're covering a lot of area today. Not only is this woman a great cook and a, and a great baker, but she loves the Lord. Her example as a Christian mother is wonderful. She puts God first in her life. You see her in church. She has wonderful children. Her grandchildren love her. And you know, when I look at somebody like Hazel, I am, I'm blessed just to know her because she reminds me a lot of my mom and her ways and the things that my mother and her attitude about things. And you know, there are people watching us all, all the time. And you're either putting out a very positive, strong message or you're putting out a negative message. And Hazel puts out a very strong message for number one, to serve God. Number two, your family are most important to you. And number three, just love life. And though, although she's been through some things that would be very trying to any of us, she still has a smile on her face. She goes on forward. See, that's the kind of people that I want to pattern my life after. Because we all go through stuff. Everybody goes through stuff. It's how you handle it. The choices that you make today, we live out tomorrow and the rest of our lives. And Hazel's just a wonderful lady. And you're going to meet her when we come back from the hint. So stay tuned. You might want to call a friend and say, hey, we're going to get some good Greek dishes today. Like stuff I can't even pronounce, but boy, does it smell good in here and it's going to taste good. I know you're going to enjoy it. So stay with us. Call your friend. And we'll be right back after these important messages. Here's today's at-home hint from Sophie Scarpone, Beaver, Pennsylvania. When baking a fruit pie, crush cornflakes into crumbs and place a layer over the bottom crust. It will cause the bottom crust to bake and your pie will not be soggy. If you have an at-home hint, a favorite recipe, or just a friendly greeting you'd like to share, we'd like to hear from you. Post it in the comments of this video or visit our Facebook page. Well, here we are. We look like the Blues Sisters because we're all in blue here in the kitchen today. But this is my dear friend Hazel. And of course, you know my dear friend Olympia over here. So glad that you're here. This has been I'm a long time coming, huh? I know. I, I know. Because you're a busy lady. This lady just keeps working, keeps active and keeps going. But today, tell me what you're making first. Uh, right now, we're going to make Yovarelaika. which. Uh, <laughs> your your like, which is a, like a meatball. Like you're gonna like it? Uh, yeah. Okay, you're gonna like, like it. Like a the Swedish meatball, meatball oh, uh, okay. soup. Okay. But it's a soup. A soup. Soup. Okay. Soup. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do we have going in that pot over there, Olympia? This pot has uh, chicken uh, broth and some water. Some water. Some okay. water and some dill sprinkled in. Oh, like a, a dried dill? Dried dill. A, a dried, dill. dried dill weed. So that's the base for the soup. Okay, exactly. now what are you going to make over well, here? Well, I'm going to... What do we have here? This is uh, about a pound and a half of ground meat. Ground beef, uh, okay. Ground beef, and I'm going to add a medium grated... Well, you grated, uh, get all the juice and everything out of that, Oh, huh? yeah. I do think that renders a different <laughs> it flavor. Does. It's more intense, it I think, it when does. you do that. So, okay. and then I'm going to add a little bit of dill. More dill? More dill. What about... Uh, Teaspoon, maybe half a teaspoon. I would, I would say about a teaspoon. About a teaspoon, yeah. Yeah. I like dill. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. If you want to add more, add more. That's right. Anyway, and uh, then uh, mm. about what's it? A, 
a of, of uh, yeah, about a, of parsley. Yeah, a quarter of a cup of uh, oh, okay. parsley. This is fresh parsley, though, right? This is fresh parsley. Look how fine that is. That's nice. You know, when so you're then, a cook and somebody's making it, you want to get everybody. everybody wants to get their hands in it. You know? Yes. yes. <laughs> Including you. So this is a half a cup of rice. Oh, rice. Now that's not cooked. That's just it's plain. Not, it's just is that plain. instant rice or river no, rice? No, that's uh, like Uncle river. Ben's. Okay. Uh, are we allowed to say? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> One egg. Okay. I like everything so far. And then salt and pepper to taste. Okay. I would rather have a spoon. You want a spoon? Please. Okay, we got it over here, honey. I don't want to give you a tablespoon. How about that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now I have to tell you, when they gave me these recipes, there were no quantities, or, or at least <laughs> Jeff was trying to get <laughs> them for me. My mother <laughs> used to say, uh, one fukta, which means one palm one full, palm full. <laughs> of this and one palm full of that. Of that, yeah. But you know so, what you mean, huh? Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. probably about a teaspoon. I now, these recipes so. are all in the newsletter, and we did approximate them, so you'll be good with the, right. with the ingredients. Okay, so now you, what else? Okay, you mix all of these together. Okay, that's all. And what, this looks like lemon. Is this yes, lemon? Yes, this okay. is lemon. It's going to go at the very end after this. Oh. The meatballs have cooked. Oh. Uh, then you make uh, lemon and egg sauce and pour it into Drizzle the... Drizzle that. Uh, into the Ooh, soup. Okay. And that's going to make a wonderful, wonderful soup. And then you let it cook for how long, Olympia? About how much? Probably by about 25 minutes or so. Half I would hour. say a little, little, little longer. Yeah, a little bit longer. longer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I always can tell by uh, looking at the meatball if the rice. Uh, which is sticking out of the meatball. Oh, yeah, it comes like porcupine, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, right. That's what like my a... mom called porcupine balls. Right. Okay. So you give that a good mix together like a that. Good mix together, right. It's going to make a lot of meatballs, huh? Yeah, it makes quite a mm -hmm. few. You make them very big? Uh, well, <laughs> it depends on... <laughs> Whatever you want, right? Whatever you want. You can okay. make them small and make them fancy. You can okay. make, make them big for big men. Sure, whatever. Okay, so. we're there yet? I would think so. Okay, let's see. Let's then, show me what the meatball looks like. Then we're going to let Olympia uh, go ahead and do Finish it that. off? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a, the size of a walnut. Okay. And roll it. Just, just roll it around. Roll it around. Roll it in a little oh, bit of flour. Oh, in some flour. In some flour. And roll it again. Okay. And then you dump and it. Then you just drop it. Now that's boiling when this you drop boiling, it, right? right. Okay. Right. Okay, let's let I'm, her do that. Huh? I'll, I'll give this over to Olympia. Okay, and I'll let you go ahead and do your hands. Next, this is one of the Wait, things. Let me. Okay, you can go ahead and wash. I'll, I'll uh, yes. get this out of the way for you. Okay, now, I said uh, she makes these wonderful uh, egg nut rolls. Not egg nut rolls, egg nut, like you roll it in, in, in you know, make it into a nut. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so we're going to use... The mixer for that one, right? Thanks, Andrew. And you have butter over there. Right. Okay, tell me what you're doing now. Okay. Oh, well, in this, this is a half a pound of melted butter. Okay. A quarter of a uh, cup of oil. Like what kind? Vegetable oil? Vegetable okay. oil. Okay. I use canola oil. They okay. say it's better for you. Okay, what else and do you put in there? And then I'll put in the... Um, Sugar. Okay, and how much sugar is that? Three quarters. Three of fourths a cup. of a cup. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and the milk. Is that a cup of milk? Mm -hmm. That's a cup of milk. Okay. I'm look. I'm reading your little note over here. That's how. I, not that I know. It just sounds like I do. <laughs> now, Olympia, I know coming from these roots, that's why you like to cook. But do you make a lot of your mom's stuff, or does you let her make it and you? Well, you it depends on what it is. What it is, yeah. <laughs> it depends on what it is. I make a cheese. Cheese. Well, that's a good, hey, I can go no, for that. That's no. good. Yeah. No, I, but I, I know yeah. with the boys, they love yeah. what uh, you cup make. Three quarters of a cup. Okay. okay. So we have that? Now, can okay. we, where does that go now? That goes Let's into go in the four, four eggs. Okay. Put I'm them gonna... in. Four large eggs. Okay. And I, should I beat these up? Yes, please. Beat them up. Okay. We're using the dough hook on the mixer, but she says she does this by hand. But because of time, we're going to go ahead and do this with the mixer today. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
And then, okay, so that's all comes melted. You don't cook that, you just melt it, right? I just melt it. All right, good. And it has to be warm, not hot, because what it'll do, it'll... It'll cook the eggs, too, won't it? Well, no, it'll also kill, kill the, the yeast. Oh. Kill the yeast. Okay. So I think I'll stand back on this one, honey, okay? Okay, could we lower that a sure. little bit, please? We can turn it off. Do that. Okay, good. Okay. Now we're just pouring... Okay, now you can turn it on a little on. bit. Yeah, just a little bit. That's the lowest one. That's it. There go you go. They want it to splash on you. There we are. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Boy, that's an easy, easy dough recipe. You ever make these, Olympia? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're all I getting. The, I make the yolk that I like at home, the, oh, the okay. meatball soup, okay, because my I'm family gonna, really I'm likes it. I'm going to add so. a little bit of flour. She's going to add a little flour to this. Okay, like how. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, that's all right. Not a problem. How much flour about does this take? Uh, this takes about eight cups uh, or so. About six. Oh, six. Seven. Okay. Well, I can always tell whenever it's not sticking to the side. Side. Okay. So first, you add a little bit of flour, and then you add the yeast, which you have proofed with how much water? How much water? Uh, a was quarter in? of a cup. Okay. And now you're just going to start to add this slowly. Yes. Okay. Hard to get in there with that thing whirling, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's okay. Yeah. Wow, this looks like an easy. I think I could do this one. Oh, this looks like can, an easy you dough. You could do anything, Marlene. Oh, please. <laughs> I, I could write a book on my flops. <laughs> I don't think but so. But you know what? I keep trying, and that's the important yeah. thing. You're really a blessing to this. Uh, well, not only to the station, but uh, to the United States. Oh, you're Big, so <laughs> Well, the truth is, because you bring the Lord into into everything you put your hands to. You know what, to. Hazel? He's so important. Like the, he is in most, your life, he's important to me. The most important thing. Sure. Now, when you were a kid, did you used to bake and help your mom? I did. Did you? I did. Now, were you born in Greece or were you born here? I was born here, actually, down here in Turtle Creek. Oh, really? Right. So was I. Is that right? That's where I used my, uh, my first uh, 16 years I lived in Turtle Creek. Yeah. So, but I've been blessed. I had a good year. Uh, you know, good I was a, huh? a good upbringing, and then whenever I got married, the most important thing to me was to please my family, my sure. husband. And they deserve it, Arlene. Sure. You know, uh, they Absolutely. come home work uh, from work tired and hungry. Uh -huh. You want to have something good sure. on the table for. Oh, and, absolutely. And especially now, Valentine's Day, girls. Sure. A way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Absolutely. Or even after Valentine's Day. Any, <laughs> any day is good. Even after. Okay, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to show you what this... You let this raise for how long? Once uh, it gets done. Till it raises double. Till double. Til okay. Double. We're going to show you when we come back exactly what that dough looks like. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Do you love watching At Home with Arlene Williams? Then be sure to check out our new YouTube channel. It's filled with classic episodes from over 20 years of At Home, and more videos are added each day. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. If you're just joining us, it's a Greek kitchen today because we've got this wonderful lemon meatball soup that we showed you how to fix. And Olympia, you think we could do the egg, the drop in the egg in there yep, now? Yep. Okay, what do you have in that bowl? For, I have two beaten eggs okay. in this bowl, and we're gonna add the juice of one lemon and to beat the that eggs? in to the eggs. Okay. Okay. And beat fresh that lemon's in. the best, huh? It is, yeah. and that's fresh lemon. Okay. And then we're gonna take the broth out of... Look at those, oh yeah. I see what you mean the about soup. those little porcupine balls when yeah. the rice comes out. Right. And we're gonna we're gonna beat some of the temper broth. It. Oh, to yeah. temper so you don't have scrambled Into eggs the, in there, right? Yeah. yeah, you don't want scrambled eggs, and <laughs> yeah, you don't want the broth boiling because your eggs will cook. Yeah, they sure will. Okay, so we just mix that around. Wow, isn't it amazing tempering how how that just changes the whole the whole thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you'll pull, pour and that then, into the meatballs? And then we'll, we'll yeah. shake it around a little bit. Shake it around a little bit and give it. Now you don't want that to go back to boiling, do no, you? No, we don't. No, Once we don't. you add the eggs, because they'll curl, will they but curdle in there if it's yes. too hot? You do the egg and lemon right before you're ready, ready to, to serve. serve it. Okay. Well, that makes sense. And then you just uh, shake it around a little bit, huh? Yep. That's it. Okay, so that's that. That's it. That's it. Oh, for does this. it smell good? Okay, you have to show us these knots because we have to get to the cookies. Okay? All right. Okay. Okay. Look how beautiful this is. The yeast after it's risen and doubled in size, right? After the, the dough has risen, right? And, double in and, size. and look, 
She started to make these already. I love, these are called knots. Look how beautiful she makes them. Now, when I read the recipe, I thought, knot like in your shoe, big knot. But look, she just rolls them, take a piece of dough, and you just roll them to about eight inches and, and time well, you don't, but you don't bring the knot clear up just until well, it comes can. to the top, right? Yeah, that's it. Look at that. It's and you can make them as big as you want or as little as you want. These are nice large. to go for a dinner, and don't you think? I, right. And I've also put them in a, a round pan. I'll put them around, mm -hmm. and then you just bake them, them off. Apart. Okay, these go into what degree oven? 350. For how long? Uh, till they get brown. About 12, 15 minutes? Maybe, maybe <laughs> 20 minutes too. Whatever, when they're brown, you know to bring them out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but you're gonna paint them with uh, this egg bath, right? W with egg, egg white and... Um... Egg white first, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, we're going to pass this off to, we're so glad you're here today, Olympia, oh, because you're just you. doing, the, she's on the cleanup crew. Uh, That's good. She's my support group, too. She is, yeah. And this makes like 24? It makes about 24. 24, okay. Yeah. Because we want Hazel to make her wonderful, her cookies. Oh, my goodness. These are incredible. Totally incredible. We'll push that down below. And I'm going to move this stuff over a little bit. These were cookies she used to bring when she would work for us, volunteer for us, and I always remembered them, and she'd bring them and say, do you think you could show me how to make them? She'd say, oh, they're nothing. Yeah, right, they're nothing. Okay, we have butter. How much butter in here? Uh, this is a pound, pound of, of butter, butter and a pound and a half, uh, cup cup and and a half, half of, sugar. of sugar. And we've just creamed it to save time. Right. And you would not use margarine, would you? No. You can't do that in a butter cookie. In fact, it's not even good any time. No. Okay, so, so we have that creamed very well. Now what we're gonna do? Yes, I'm going to add four egg yolks. Four egg yolks right to that, okay. Right. Okay. And let that beat there. All right. And uh, while this is creaming together, you're going to add your to your dry ingredients, maybe? Yes. Okay. But here I'm going to put, uh, this is orange juice that I add also, but I, I put uh, soda in Three here. Three-fourths cup of orange juice. Yes, I'll mix the soda in here to activate. Baking soda? What's baking soda. A teaspoon of baking soda. Oh, that's good. It activates. You can see how it's Oh, bubbling. my goodness. It sure is. Are you putting that in here? Yes, I right am. Right now, done. okay. Yes. Wow, I never done that. That's a good idea because that fluffs everything up, doesn't it? Well, it, it does. Oh, and it, it smells does. so good. Wow. Then, wait a minute. Uh, we... Yeah, go ahead. We need a spatula yeah. here to get the sides. I'll work on that. You go ahead and tell us about the flour and everything else that All goes right. in. All right. Now, uh, just scrape next down I will sides. add the vanilla. Okay. And, and I also add the uh, um, almond flavor. A teaspoon oh, okay. of almond flavor. That and just it, enhances everything, doesn't it? It, it does. <laughs> <laughs> like my shirt. That really enhanced my shirt that it last is, little it time is. around the <laughs> It has okay. everything. Hey, I can smell, I love almond extract. It could be cologne for me for all I know. Okay, now tell so, us what you do. All right, now, I could add a little bit of flour Add a little here. flour, okay. We're running out of time, so let's talk this through. All right, and I add the baking powder, which is four teaspoons of baking powder. Four baking powder, four okay. Four baking powder, and let that, uh, just let that, Come together. Come together, yes. And then you start adding how much flour all together? Uh, about eight cups? About eight cups. Okay. It depends, you know, again, how big the, the eggs are. Sure. You know. But you just you know, Hazel, I'm going to turn this off because That's we only fine. have 30 seconds. I want to talk them through it. When the dough gets done, it, what's the consistency? Uh, it's a soft dough, but it does not stick, stick to the sides. So when it all gathers, you know you have it. Right. Okay. Then tell me what you do when you roll it out. I roll it out, and then I just fold it in half and re-roll it. And re-roll it, like twist it? Twist it. Okay, and you put sesame seeds or without sesame seeds? With or without. Okay, we're going to be in the dining room. We come back, and you're going to see the finished cookie. You don't want to miss it. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Just go to ctvn.org slash at home to get all the recipes from today's show for free. That's right, no subscriptions. They're available online at no cost, and more are being added each day. So join us at ctvn.org slash at home to get today's recipes now. Olympia, could you serve me some, please? This is the lemon meatball soup 
Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, oh, Hazel, that's incredible. Delicious, delicious. Okay, and everything is there. You just start to eat just this way, right? We don't have to put anything on. No salt, nope. no pepper, no nothing. Shouldn't. And down next to that are the rolls. Hazel, tell us about the rolls. Well, the rolls, you could... Um, Those are the knots, right? Uh, the knots. You could put sesame on them or make, make them, them plain. plain. I made both of them so you can get an idea. Yeah. And then, too, if you have poppy seed, you might want to put poppy seed on okay. them, too. Or so. you can put them in a, a round pan or and make them so they can pull apart, right? Break right. apart. Right. I okay. baked it in a round cake okay. pan. Okay. And here's your soup, dear. And, thank and you. And then over there, tell us about the cookies, Olympia. Just point them. Show. These are the kudalekia. These have sesame seeds on top, and these we made plain. Uh, Pick one up and show them, the, because we didn't get to show you, but it, uh, it's a description yeah. in the newsletter, that you just roll it, and then you double it, and, and then you just twist, twist it, it right. and then you bake them you put a little egg you, wash. Yeah, egg wash and sprinkle a little sesame. bit of sesame seed on oh, top. Oh, boy, I tell you. This is, and then we just added in a really nice kind of a Greek salad. We've got some with feta cheese here. This is a wonderful brunch or whatever. And my wonderful friends and wonderful family, be sure to join us the next time because it just wouldn't be the same without you, you, or you. We'll see you then. Furnishings provided by Levin Furniture, featuring Lane's Country Living Collection. Food provided by Jordan Banana Company, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Travosburg, Pennsylvania. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Thank you for watching. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.